Hi everybody, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy for Best Buy's blog. And when we talk about the smart home, we typically think inside the home, but a smart home can also be outside the home. To help explain, I have Ethan from... Heisenberg Robotics. Heisenberg Robotics, I love the name. So, you guys have, what is this, a smart robot? Vi yeah. Uh, lawnmower? Yeah, this is the first all-in-one uh, lawn care robot that's got going on the market. So, in addition to autonomously mowing the lawn for you, it also offers edge trimming, leaf blowing, and even well, fertilizing. What, what edge trimming? Edge trimming is usually when uh, the home owner completes the, uh, the lawn mowing portion, and then there are edges along the fences or along the walls that still need to be maintained. So traditionally, people use a standalone edge trimmer to, yes. yeah, to really take care of the final, maybe like three to five percent of the grass that's still remaining. But it's still, it, it's uh, you know, making making an unsightly appearance on your lawn. So now we've basically uh, minimized the size of that traditional edge trimmer and integrated it into the main product, uh, the Lawn Meister. So what I mean, that's what I meant by the all-in-one complete lawn care solution is it does more than mowing. It also basically takes care of the manicuring, uh, even uh, the health of the grass is, can be taken care of by the uh, water tank at the, at the front of the uh, at the oh, product. Wait, he's got a water tank too? Yeah, yeah, so that's uh, recommended for putting in either like uh, liquid weed killers or liquid fertilizers to keep your lawn healthy. So it's not just about mowing the lawn, it's about basically having a healthy and uh, cleanly cut lawn every day. Yeah. Now, in terms of like it, knowing where it's positioned, do you have to have one of those guidelines around the property? Absolutely not. We feel like one of the main limitations for uh, robotic monster, robotic lawnmowers to really go into the mainstream market is the complex pre-installation required before yes. the person can really start using the product, right? So whether we're talking about having to lay cables around the entirety of your lawn or maybe installing other really complex antenna systems or stations or beacons, whatnot. Um, so we really emphasized creating a product that's ready to use out of the box. It's basically a plug and play product. Right out of the box, um, the uh, Lawn Meister will do an automatic uh, walkthrough of your lawn. It'll first go around the edge of your lawn and then the interior of your lawn. And after that, oh, it creates so that's a, how it knows. Exactly, it creates a 3D map of your lawn. And then after that, you can mark off where maybe where you don't want it to go. And then after that, you set up a schedule and it's ready to go. I guess the best way to describe this is like a Roomba for your lawn. That is a really great way to describe it, Andy. Well, let's talk yeah. about this base station that you have over here. So it, does it automatically, when it's running out of power, go and charge itself? Absolutely. Yeah, when it's down to about 10 to 5 to 10 percent, it'll automatically go back to the charging station. And what's good about this charging station is once it uh, basically backs into it, it, there's a physical lock locking mechanism in place uh, for theft prevention. Uh, so whenever Lawn Meister is not mowing your lawn or when it's charging uh, on, the, on, the char on the charging station, it's physically locked to the charging station which uh, the homeowner will basically nail down into his or her lawn, right? And on top of that, we have a GPS feature on this uh, Lawn Meister. So in ha if it happens that somebody really, really wanted to take it, right? You're gonna uh, be able to find it. Yeah, it'll send you a notification with the co exact coordinates. So, you know, if you wanna find out why that person took it, you can chase them down. <laughs> well, it's even better, you can call the police and say, hey, someone stole my lawnmower and uh, I know exactly where it is. And then you can have the police come knock on the yeah, door. Yeah, good thinking. That's probably a better way to go. <laughs> so uh, is this available on the market right now? It is, it will actually be available very soon. So what we're gonna do is we plan to launch a Kickstarter campaign starting in February that'll last through March. And then in terms of going into the mass uh, consumer market, it'll be around the June and July timeframe. Okay. So we're currently aiming at a July date for delivery into uh, sales channels along with uh, our online store and Amazon stores uh, storefronts opening up. And uh, do you have a price point in mind yet? Yes, yeah, so it will be between $1,500 and $2,000 because That's we'll be nothing. off. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, we feel like it's a competitive price. Um, uh, we, we encourage people to do their research for, uh, on the um, you know, currently existing or upcoming uh, robotic lawnmower models. Uh, like I said, ours is more than just a simple robotic lawnmower. It's yeah, like a yeah. lawn care robot. Yeah, it's like, um, a, it's like a Swiss Army knife yeah, <laughs> of, so, a, of a tool. Exactly. Uh, it's a complete solution. So we have a base model that uh, includes the you know, core functionality of the mowing uh, that it does autonomously. But uh, like I said earlier, Andy, so we also offer the different mo uh, feature modules. Yeah. They're, each one of those uh, sold separately. So if somebody oh. wanted to complete the complete so package. So modular, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Yeah, so what's the point of 
um, having an autonomous robotic lawnmower, if after it's done mowing, you have to go back and manually do the edge trimming. Yeah. It kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? And so when it's cutting, it's just cutting into little pieces and that just turns to fertilizer. That's correct, because you don't have to do the work, so it could work every day, every couple days, and each each time it works, it doesn't have to cut off a huge chunk of grass. Actually, what's recommended by lawn experts is cutting yeah. off less than one third of the grass that's, at the same time. That's very, very true. People yeah. cut their lawn way too low, and exactly. it's, it's not good for the grass. And then they wonder, you know, why, why is my grass turning yellow or not growing later on? But yeah, they're cutting too much. So really, it's all about, you know, cutting cutting at a, a appropriate level, uh, appropriate height. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, with the Lawmeister smartphone app, you're actually able to automatically adjust the cutting height of the blades. Uh, when you buy it, when you initially set it up, you in input into the smartphone app what type of grass you have, whether you have like Kentucky bluegrass or some type yeah, of other, Yeah, other there's grass. different types. Yeah. And then it knows the season, right? And it knows your geographic location. So during the winter, it'll cut, it'll cut the grass shorter to allow more sunlight into the dirt uh, underneath. During the summer, it'll cut at a higher height to you know, keep the ground underneath at, uh, at a cooler temperature, yeah. So we talk a lot about the smart home. Now we gotta talk about smart lawn care because you have a device that is a modular device that can cut, it can act as a weed blower, and it can do the trimming. Ethan, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Andy. I'm Andy Barrar for Handy Andy Media and Best Buy's blog. We'll see you again next time.